New anime seasons are always exciting. I'm always really <laughs> looking forward to sitting down and clicking play on episode one of new anime. And I mean, so far, we've had... Uh, I've recorded free Ren so far, obviously, the first five episodes I've now seen. Um, and other than that, have I done anything else this season yet? I don't think so. Spy Family, as the time I'm recording this, Spy Family is coming out, um, like, tonight sometime. So, um... I think this is the other first thing that I'm going to be watching, like, from the new season. Um, so I'm excited, and this is Undead Unluck. So, um, I'm gonna give a bit of context about Undead Unluck and what I know about it. Um, but, uh, but this show, I mean, I don't know how popular this show is necessarily going to be. Um, I guess we'll find out, and if you want me to continue my reactions to this series, the best thing to do is to support the video and like the video and, and especially comment down below and let me know that you want more. That's the best way for me to know that people are actually interested in in watching more of these episodes um, because I'm a small channel, so I'm sometimes I'm just trying series out. I might just do one or two episodes and see how it goes. Um, but if you want me to just continue to go do it and do the whole series and stuff, then just keep letting me know. So Undead Unluck. Now I um I'm not like I'm not super super familiar with Undead Unluck. I have though several maybe a year ago, two years ago, something like that. I can't remember exactly when it was. Um, I would guess about a year and a half ago or so, I read the first few chapters of this manga, um, and I probably would have continued, um, but I didn't, like, I didn't have too much time at the time, and then eventually I saw that it was getting an anime being made, and I was like, maybe I'll just watch the anime, because that will probably be a bit easier for me. So, I know the very, I can only remember the very, very base concept of this anime. And I guess I'll talk about that more in the discussion portion of the video. Um, but I only remember, like, a, a small part of the, um, of the, the concept of the anime. Um, as well as I remember the two main characters and what they look like. Um, and... Do I remember anything else, really? I do remember <laughs> in the manga that, at least early on, I don't know if this continues, but there was a lot of uh, uh, non-consensual touching going on, <laughs> which is probably the worst part of the the manga. So um, I I don't know if that's going to be... I imagine they're going to keep that in. I, I don't. It's Japan. I don't know why they'd remove it. Um, but anyway, uh, other than that, we're gonna jump in. I'm kind of excited though, because I do, I do remember enjoying the chapters that I read, um, and enjoying the, the ideas that they were setting up in it. Like, I feel like it's got a lot of potential, especially later in the story, and I don't know, uh, how, where they're gonna take it. And I think it's gonna be so much easier for me to take it in when I'm watching an anime of it, instead of having to read it and, like, figure out who's talking at any given point and stuff, like... So this will be good. I'm excited. So this is Undead Unluck. I don't know what studio is doing this anime. I don't know any of the voice actors. Um, but uh, but yeah, we're just going to jump right into it. Support the channel if you can. Support the video. I'm a small channel. Every little bit helps me out. And in the description, you will find the full length version where you can sync it up with your own footage and watch the entire episode with me, as well as uh, early access for a sh certain shows, exclusive videos. There's a VIP tier where you can request reactions. There's a lot of good stuff over there. Let's jump into Undead Unluck episode one. Is that a jet engine? Thank goodness you're wearing, uh, uh, what are they called? <laughs> like, proper legging covers. <laughs> Man, this place is fucked. There was a half-destroyed building. Wow, this is a really interesting opening scene so far. Kind of more artistic than I expected from this show, to be honest. Why are we focusing on this plane so much? It keeps focusing on that. Is someone going to get sucked into that or is it going to fall off or break? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? These two kiss and the plane explodes August 1st 2020 so that was a book 
Okay, that was a that was a manga. Oh my God, Jesus! Favorite series done. Kill myself. Damn, she brought a knife. Even though she was gonna jump off a building or off a bridge. Oh shit, man! Did <laughs> she just say the sound effect? That's funny. You're a murderer now. <laughs> He's excited. <laughs> there it is. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just splatted. Oh. oh, it's not your fault for not committing unalive fast enough. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god, he's like, he's like floating. Ah! Wow, this is sick. 1865. It's crazy his tattoos even come back. Oh my god. Oh my god, don't punch there! Why is it his hands and feet come back yet? There we go. Uh-huh. And you experienced the unlock. You fell off the, the bridge. His feet still aren't back. Oh my god! He can just like shoot his blood out of them and blast away? That's insane. Holy shit, the animation's actually good in this show. I kind of didn't think it would be that good. I thought it would be a kind of lazy one. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. He doesn't care. Oh, that's true. Oh my god! That's scary. <laughs> Just drop me. Oh my god, is he gonna get struck by lightning? There's a cloud coming over him. Well, actually, no, he hasn't touched his skin yet, right? <laughs> My god, if he like ripped her pants, that she would go flying. I'm surprised by like the directing of this episode and stuff. It's actually really nice. Oh. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> and she was completely covered otherwise, so it was specifically the kisses that would have done it. Okay, so the plane wasn't in the manga, the plane was just her. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, okay, <laughs> I remember this bit. Oh my god! Crushed by a banana crate! Oh my god. Oh, did she just... She slipped on a banana and fell off the roof? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's embarrassing. Oh. Oh. Uh, she still cares about the manga. Oh, did he grab the manga? He did, wow. Whoa! Oh my god, he can- is that a bone? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Him iron manning around with blood is crazy. This is insane. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, of course. Oh my gosh. She's slippery. Oh no. Wow, she's got a lot of hair. Jesus. That's so much hair. Look at all that. Buried in hair. 
Oh, she... She wants a haircut, but <laughs> no one will cut it. You could cut it, surely, couldn't you? <laughs> so, okay, so that's interesting. You have to let go before the unluck sets in. Nice. Cute. Cute. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> yeah, what's gonna happen for 15 minutes of, of holding her face? What? Oh shit, it's just people came. Izumo Fuko. Oh no. Oh no, that's horrifying. Just being a head stuck in a small container. Negators. Well, yeah, but. Well, we know he was pretty. He was pretty upfront about why he caught her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like how she's already defending him. Much better to be with undead than be with this guy. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Huh? Wait, how'd that happen? Uh huh? Did you? Can she like trigger the unlock on someone else? Oh my god. Oh! What the fuck? Oh my god! This is insane! Uh, no, the fucking way. This is crazy. Oh! I see that it was just a delayed unlock. That's so cool. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he does. Either he cares about you or he cares about the power. Either way, you're a good hostage. Ah! God, that's fucked, man. There's so much blood in this show. <laughs> oh my god. So his body just disappears when you throw the head away? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit! Just kissed a seven head. <laughs> oh, I like the way she was animated there. Her expression was great. Oh my god, oh my god, yeah. Stay near him. Oh shit. Is it gonna be another strike of lightning or? No way! Was that a like meteor? <laughs> <laughs> That's insane, man. <laughs> oh, there's a beanie. That's nice. Wow. That was fun. Okay, you just don't know your name. Are you giving him a name? Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Andy's a weird name, but like for a Japanese anime protagonist, but sure. Oh my god, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Very cool. Are we just gonna get credits or? Yeah, just regular credits. Oh, is this, wait, is this show David production? I gotta look it up in discussion. I think it is. I'm seeing David production several times in this, in this credits. Okay, I'm gonna look up. I, I feel like... 
I feel like it might have been David Production that does this uh, show, but I'm going to look it up uh, because that's important. Uh, Studios David Production. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That explains why it kind of had a lot of love put into it. You know, like that David Production, they, they are good at making anime um, and their anime does tend to be like, it takes sort of, it's sort of weird, unexpected stuff. I feel like that they put a lot of effort into, you know, like obviously Jojo is their big money maker um, and Jojo is like crazy and has clearly a lot of effort put into it. Um, but also um, stuff like Urusa Yatsura. Um, and didn't they do Fire Force as well? Hold on. Yeah, they do. They do Fire Force as well. Um, where like Urusa Yatsura is like, you know, I think Urusa Yatsura o overall as a show is like decent. Like it's, it's not the most amazing show in the world to me, but that's not, that's kind of just because of like the, the type of show it is, um, where it's like a serialized comedy type show first and foremost, and I like more overarching story type shows. So that's the stuff that I didn't like as much about Urusai Yatsura, but, um, but I mean, undoubtedly like the animation and the OPs and all of that for, for that show are awesome. Um, and Fire Force, um, like Fire Force suffers a little bit from a few problems, most notably like the fan service and stuff. But um, but the actual like show, the power system, the animation, the sound design of that fucking show, like there's some incredible stuff in Fire Force. So um, so Undead Unlock being in their hands is is great actually. I didn't even think about them when I was thinking about potential studios that might have done this, but that's really cool. Um, so this was a good first episode. I enjoyed it a lot. I, um, so I think at this point, this episode probably covered all the stuff I read in the manga. Like, I don't think I read any further than, than that. And I barely even remembered what was happening here. You know, I, all I remembered really was that there was, um, a girl whose power was unlock, which gave her bad luck or gave the people uh, she touched bad luck rather and I remember that he was undead and he wanted to use her unlock to die and I remembered that he groped her and shit and that was basically uh, all I really remembered so um, while I was watching the scene of like of that guy coming in with the katana and stuff like while I was watching that I kind of recognized it so I think I did read that chapter but I think I read it while I was like incredibly tired and falling asleep. Like I, I kind of had this feeling of like, I think I, I read it. I think I dozed off a few times in that chapter because it was a long day. And that's kind of why I stopped reading the manga because like I read that chapter, I kind of fell asleep part way through it. And then I didn't like, I didn't reread it. And then I had lost what the, sh what, the uh, what the manga was about. So, um, so we've covered all the stuff that I know about the show. Um, but uh, but I, I really enjoyed this and I really enjoyed watching an anime form. They they kind of went all out on it. It, it looked great. Um, and I think this show like has, so they called it Negators, right? Um, and, and they also like, so far we've had Undead and Unluck. It feels like Un something might be the power system in this. So all the power systems are going to be based on like negatives, you know, like un something. Um, so that's like interesting. And I, I, I kind of wonder like how much more can you do from that? So there's undead and unluck. Um, what, what other kind of powers could you even have? You could like negate people's, uh, like, because un unluck is supposed to be, like, negating their luck, right? And undead is negating his own, like, death. His, his yeah, his death from happening. So, um, you could negate people's... Man, I can't even think. That's why, I, like, this is a... There are some series that are out there that, like, once I hear the concept, I'm like, I could write this show, <laughs> you know? Like, I, I would write it slightly differently to the way the main person's writing it, but I could do it. Um, and I'll come up with like all these ideas and stuff for it. Um, and some power systems, you know, you like, you start to get into the power system and then you're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got cool ideas on how I would do this. You know, like Avatar is, is probably the, the most, um, the best example of that because Avatar 
is the simplest power system in the world really like it's just like hey there are some people that can control earth some that can control water some that can control air and some that can control fire and there's one person that can do all four of that and that's it that's the power system it's done <laughs> you know but um but then you know they they do interesting things with it and they introduce like these other concepts and stuff um and then it like invites you to come up with your own ideas so like i've come up with um like cool ideas for characters in the avatar universe um a lot you know but with this i i got no idea i can't come up with anything this feels like something only the writer could do so um I really like it. I like the two main characters. Um, it's like, uh, it, it's, they're, they're both like, uh, so different from each other. Um, and you can, like, you can see, I think this episode really, like, I, I don't think the ending of this episode works without the haircut scene. I think the haircut scene is the most important scene in this episode because without that, um, like he's kind of just a criminal that um is constantly you know trying to do stuff against her will and against her consent um and like and it's you know it's it's really fucked up and horrible but with the haircut scene it shows like here's something that she is getting out of this and like this is like it might allow her to have a life and to feel normal you know um, and sadly, like, it is kind of a good move to start the series with her about to end her life because there's kind of nowhere to go but up <laughs> in her life, you know? Like, she had, she had no future without him, literally. Like, she was about to just die. So, at least it makes it feel a little, like, at, at least there's, there's sort of a reason for, um, for him being there. And, uh, and so it makes you feel a little less bad <laughs> about, about him kind of kidnapping her essentially. Um, and it's like, and it's, yeah, the, the whole concept of like, okay, you have to touch her skin to trigger this unlock, um, is cool because it's like an easy way to get around it. Um, and it allows like moments like, you know, him, uh, her kissing him on the cheek and stuff to be like, oh, that's kind of a sweet moment and it triggers a really powerful version of her power, which is kind of cool. Like you can have a hype moment out of like a kiss on the cheek. I think that's a that's a good concept. Of course, it does suffer the problem and this being anime as well of like just being like, okay, well, you know, that kind of gives him a law reason to grope her, which is a little uncomfortable. Um, but I think, I remember talking to someone about um, about this series at some point, someone who, who recommended me the, the manga, um, who I talked to about manga and anime quite a bit. Um, I think he said like, mostly it's the start of the story that's kind of less comfortable. And then I think they toned down on it, which if that's the case, I'll be very happy about that. Um, but I'm mostly excited to see like what other characters we're going to have in this story. Because as I said, we've, we've passed the point where I've read two, you know? So like at this point, it's all going to be fresh stuff for me. And I, I really don't know what kind of characters will be in a story like this. And I'm super excited to find out. So anyway, that's Undead Unlock episode one. I enjoyed this. And if you want to see my reaction to more episodes of this, the best thing to do is to support the video. Go into the comments. Let me know. Like, say I enjoyed this video. Um, this was my favorite part of the video. Like, I, I, I'd like more, you know, like anything like that. Um, in the comments below and then I'll know that people are interested um, And also my patreon account is in the description down there and you can watch the full-length reaction early access exclusive videos There's a lot of stuff to go check out, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye